Are you tired of limiting your classified website to just listings? Want to empower your users to sell their products directly on your platform? The Marketplace add-on is the solution you have been waiting for. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the simple steps to integrate WooCommerce and transform your site into a thriving marketplace. This checkout page built with Classima WordPress theme showcasing a form for billing information is visible with name, company names, and other common checkout details. Now a summary of the order on the checkout page is appearing. This interface navigates to the official website of Radius Team to view the marketplace add-ons detailed description on the classified listing plugin page. You must need to install classified listing and WooCommerce plugin. Now back on the WordPress dashboard, plugin, add new plugin, and then upload plugin. For choose file, find the exact zip file. Now install it. After installing, click on Activate Plugin and get a list of bunch required plugins. Now go to the classified listings of your dashboard and then Settings and find Marketplace. Now click the Marketplace button to enable Marketplace option. Then select the categories to enable Marketplace only for specific categories like cars and vehicles, food or agriculture, education, home appliance, and many more that depends on your preference. And then for listing archive options, Enable Add to Cart button and then Quantity Field option in the Listing Archive page. Then fix your Add to Cart button text like Buy Now. For the Listing Details options, you can enable or disable the similar option to fix your Details page. If you want, you can also customize other options to enable or disable for listings and then save your changes. Now back to your listing page to see the customization. And this is quantity field. Again, go back to your settings. If you don't want to show this in your listing page, then make it disable in your listing archive page. Save your changes, reload the page and it will disappear. Furthermore, if you want to disable your add to cart button in your details page, you can easily do it. But if you want to show your add to cart button text as order now, then make a change here and see the difference in your listing details page. Let's make a change again. Now click on view cart to see the ultimate changes. And then click on proceed to check out. And get a clearance of your billing details. Now click on place order. And this is your order invoice. Let's click on all ads and get all of your listings here. For other options, you can also enable stock management and allow file format for downloadable product. And this is how it looks like. Thank you for watching.